Hi everyone, this is Massimo and today we will talk about finally CNC machines. So in general what I was looking for was a really cheap CNC machine to use for my hobby and that can mean acetate, wood, probably a bit of metal but not like entire molds. So after a quick research online I found this CNC machine that costed like $150. So I decided to give it a go. I bought it and in around one month I got it here. First thing first was to like build up the complete machine. Thanks to like some YouTubers around, I found some video guides how to build it. I will leave the link of the video that I used in the description. The assembly took around like 3 hours in total, it was really easy compared to a 3D printer like for example the Prusa i3 is like much longer and there are a lot of more pieces. After the assembling I quickly tested if everything was correct. I installed, I don't know the name, I don't know how to pronounce it, Turbo. I installed the CNC program, so I took this software, I don't remember the name, I think it was Easel, and I drew like a basic shape and I tried to like mill it. And to my surprise, everything worked perfectly without any problem. After that, I decided, okay, that this machine was actually working. So I decided I have to find a way to insulate more this machine because I have my daughter going around. I don't want noise, unnecessary noise, then there's dust and other things. So I wanted to build a lab box. This box, I think, was the fastest box I ever done, and it's like really bad. It's like old wonky. I found also some like insulating panels down the road where we have the trash bins. Someone left like a whole piece. I think it was two meter by two meter of insulating foam. So I took it. That one was free, <laughs> and I just bought plywood and basically hand saw and really really fast working and not precise measurement <laughs> I managed to create this box After this caveman box was done, I was ready to like step up a bit the projects. For doing so, I needed to have also like a flat end mill due to coronavirus. I couldn't buy it or go buy it. Side note, this project took like two months probably. <laughs> I had a, a milling point for the for the dremel. This one was it. so I decided to cut it out and use this one as a flat end mill. After 
this modification was done and tried another shape just to see if this point was working and the machine was fast enough and sturdy enough to do it. <laughs> I was really happy also with the box that was like insulating probably the noise. The material I always used was acetate, cellulose acetate, so it's not like a super hard material. It's not difficult to work with, but you have to find the right RPM. I wanted to do like a third test, like with something really small, to see how precisely this machine was working and if I had like a skip in the X or Y axis and Z axis. This project basically was a pair of glasses that is this big. These ones, good luck to me. Opposite, but I wanted to add some depth and some like features to see if the machine was working properly. I switched to Fusion 360 to get the CNC uh, pad. Then I prepared the machine and started milling. After these three small projects, I was ready to try to do something more, a bit more finished. So I, I play guitar sometimes and I didn't have any pick. So I decided why not to try to do it in acetate. I started milling and try some different things. A couple of messages via Telegram for a friend of mine. He has like a YouTube channel for learning guitar. He was like, I would be really interested to try one of these picks in acetate. So I modeled the things. I created the path in Fusion 60 for the CNC machine. I added some logos. After that was done, my goal was to remove it was 5 millimeters of material because I needed just 1 millimeter, so I decided to go like with the pencil. I 3D printed like a support in order for me to, to remove the excess material not going under 1 millimeter depth. From this step on, it's basically just finishing and polishing the material.
I was really happy with the result because like it's like the first time I finished a project with the CNC machine and I was really happy with the precision, with Fusion 360, everything was working perfectly. So after I finished this like three peaks, I decided okay maybe I can do like also a box. So I did a fast modeling of the box always in Fusion 360. and to the with the Prusa i3 Yeah, so this is the final box with the peaks and the final result basically I have just to pack it, ship it, and I will wait to reply on how they feel when you play guitar with these acid picks. So, I hope you guys like these videos. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I will see you guys in the next video. I was thinking that probably the next video will be a tutorial on how to create a file for the CNC machine in Fusion 360. Let me know in the comments if you have any idea of what I should create. And if you have the same machine, comment down below if you have the problems or if you want to like add my files for the Fusion 360. Okay, done. <laughs> Thank you very much. See you guys next time.